Have a good day. So this will be my next lecture presentation with regards to test construction in assessment in learning one. So I'll be talking to you about the stages in the development and validation of an assessment instrument. So in, in the PowerPoint presentation that I'll be sharing to you, there are actually four phases that we can have or that we can follow when we are constructing or when we are doing development and validation in an assessment instrument. So let's consider first the first phase and that is the planning stage. So as you can see in the planning stage, there are three sub-steps that we can do okay, for us to complete this phase one. The first among these three is to specify the objectives and skills plus the content areas to be measured. So, so these are these are actually our this is actually our way to at least know what will be the composition or what will be the possible content of our exam. We need to, to review our set educational objectives. We need to review the content of our of our um, lesson that we are trying to give a test. For the second one, we need also to prepare the table of specification. This is very important for us test constructors, test developers, and assessors since it will lead us to a more valid test instrument. Because we know when we first construct our table of specification before crafting, before writing the items, then automatically we will be having at least a high level of content validation. Okay? And this table of specification indicates the, the different objectives to be measured or goals to be measured or maybe competencies to be measured and content areas that are to be measured. It will also indicate some recitations. So number of recitations and this will be the guide of the test developer to identify number of items per content area or number of items per objective. And the third step under planning stage is to decide now what uh, or the item format of our test instrument. Are we giving now, based from these objectives, is it possible to give a multiple choice type of test? Is it possible to give a short answer type of test or maybe true or false or matching type of test and among others? So it is part of this planning stage or stage is to decide the item format of our test. For the second phase, we need to do the writing stage. After developing, after doing planning, we are now ready to do or to write our items or to construct our test. So the, the, there are two sub-steps under this phase two. The first one is to write now the test items based on the table of specifications, which is our blueprint guide. After writing all the items, we will consult the, or we will let it um, be validated or be checked by experts in the field. They may be the subject teachers or maybe test expert for validation or content validation or maybe editors. So we need to consult experts after constructing the test items all right and this will compose phase two the writing stage in our in our um, test construction for the third phase we will do test administration okay as you can see there are several sub steps under this um, test administration this is actually the try out stage we are trying to try out now what we have um, composed what we have constructed okay so we will do first trial run using 50 to 100 students after the trial we will now score the test and this scores will be our basis to do or to conduct item analysis we will determine the difficulty and the discrimination indices of all these items that we have constructed we can also do option analysis if, if we are giving a multiple choice type of test. Or these choices that you have given okay, are really considered to be destructors. 
we need to give options that are distractors all right so we need to, to to be able to check it we can do option analysis then after which we will do revision of the test based on the results of the item analysis who will be or what item will be rejected what items will be retained or what items needs revision okay so that will be the fifth sub step in the test administration for the sixth step we will again do another trial and this will serve as our second trial after the trial we will score go back with the, with the steps we'll do item analysis we can also do option analysis and we will write now or revise now the final form of the the test based on the se the result of the second trial and for the fourth um, fourth phase this will now be the evaluation stage okay we will administer the final form of the test to establish validity and reliability okay it's where we can be able to compute the, the the validity index of our test instrument it's where we can be able to compute or we'll be able to compute the estimate reliability of our test instrument so this is the composition of the steps okay from the develop or from the planning stage up to the development and validation of our assessment instrument so i hope if you'll become teachers um, you will be able to follow the steps that i have presented to you when developing and validating assessment instrument so thank you again for watching to my video and See you again for my next video presentation. Have a good day, everyone.